weekend I brought JT Torres out to my gym. It's kind of like a birthday present for me where um, I wanted to bring him out, out back in 2015 and it simply didn't work out. He's had some knee surgery stuff going on and finally worked out. We got to bring him out this weekend. So me and my students are going to train with him. And while he's out here, we did a podcast with him and I also wanted to do a video to share some techniques with you guys. Uh, so he's got a really cool guard passing. So again, just to kind of let you guys know, like, he's a two-time ADCC champion. For some of you guys that are newer to the sport, uh, he's a monster. He's one of the best dudes in the world. And his guard passing game, his back taking game is second to none. And so I wanted him to show something from that position today. That's what I wanted to get from him this weekend. That's the stuff he's doing here. Um, so I wanted to share something with you guys. So, brother, thank you for being here. My pleasure. My pleasure. Away. What's going on, guys? So I want to show a quick position here from the top. You don't want to walk in straight into someone's guard. If you walk straight into someone's guard, you're walking straight into an attack. Especially nowadays with the, with the no-gi game where there's a lot of attacks on the legs where someone can get underneath your hips, right? We need to come in at an angle. So what I like to do here is make contact with his legs before I approach the guard. So I'm gonna be in a nice slow stance just like this here and I make two Lego man grips here. So my thumbs are on the insides, four fingers are on the outside. And I make contact on the shins here. Now when I make contact on the shins here, I'm gonna push in just a little bit and usually when you push, your partner's gonna push back, right? So a little push and he pushes back. Pretty, pretty standard, that's the reaction you're gonna get a lot. Now, before you do any of this though, I want you guys to know in your mind which leg you wanna lead with, which leg do you wanna step into the guard with. I personally like stepping in with my left leg, so that's why my left leg is forward. So when I grab and make contact with the Lego man grips here, I push in, when he pushes back here, I'm gonna step in with my left leg, but as I step in with the left leg here, I lead with the left, but I step to my right, as I push his legs out to the left. You guys are gonna see what I mean in a second here. So again, contact, I push, he pushes back. As I step in with my left leg, I push his legs out to that same side as I lean towards my right. Now, if you guys noticed, our heads are no longer on the same line. Whenever our heads are on the same line here, we have an equal chance of getting our game started. I wanna have the advantage, obviously, right? I wanna be on top, I wanna have I want to be the, the person with a step or two ahead. So when I step in, you always want to step in at an angle. So you want to push your hips away from where you're trying to pass. So again, I press, he presses back, I step. Now I'm forcing his hips to look the opposite way to where I'm going. I want to pass to my right, but I'm already placing his hips facing the opposite way. So now I drop my chest around the outside of his left leg, left knee, and I lean forward here. Now when I lean forward here, left hand that was on the shin is going to leave the shin. I'm going to place my left hand inside underneath his right arm. You don't have to underhook his arm just yet. I just place my hand palm down by the mat. It will become an underhook for you in a, in a, in a few seconds here. My right hand, I like to go above his left shoulder. Now from here, what's going to happen, he's going to realize that in order for him to play guard against me, he, he has to have his hips facing me. If he stays in this position, I'm going to smash pass, I'm going to drop my chest, and just pass the guard right from here. So usually what happens, the partner on bottom will try to face you and face your hips towards you, right? He needs to have his hips looking at me to be able to play guard against me. So when we're in this position here, I'm forcing him to be in an awkward spot. So from here, I expect him to push in towards his left. Go ahead. As he pushes in, I step in with my left leg here. Now notice, when I step in with the left leg here, I aim my left knee above the hip. So now what I've done here, I've beat him to the, to the punch and I'm, I've landed in a deep knee cut position here. Now as I land here, the hand that we had on the mat, the left hand, now is in a deep underhook position here. But what I do here is I keep it as a shallow underhook here. Left hand goes to the back of the tricep and I keep my forearm across his rib cage. So this way I keep him on his side. The longer I keep him on his side here, the longer I have his, his back exposed. Now, right hand, I like to push the head down towards the mat as I point my left knee out. It's a really good detail here, guys. My left knee, while I'm in this position here, is always pointing towards your partner. That's where you have your weight directed towards them. But when I'm ready to pass here, I point the knee away, and now I hip through. When I hip through here, I'm on my toes. I'm gonna step over his head with my right leg. One. Now as I step over, I swing to my two knees here, aiming my chest below his, his right shoulder blade. <laughs> Land on my two knees here with my toes activated on the mat. Now I have a barrier behind his back here. So if he tries to get his back to the mat, it's gonna be very hard for him to do that. At the same time, I'm looking to lock in my seatbelt. 
When I lock in the seat belt here, you always want to cover that bottom shoulder. So my left arm over the shoulder, my hand that's on top goes underneath the armpit. Hand that's underneath the armpit is the hand on top of your gable grip here that you have in front of the person's chest. Boom. All right? Right here, your seat belt grip. Now, once I get my grip here, elbows are in tight. Now, I'm going to go into one of my favorite back takes here is the chair sit. For the chair sit, the leg that you have closest to the head, that left knee is going to go to the back of the head here, just like this. And now I pull his head onto my thigh here. So it's almost like I'm giving him a pillow to rest his head on. Now, when it comes time to throw that first hook in here, I'm going to pivot on my left leg, folding my left leg parallel to his back as I swing the right leg inside. As I swing the right leg inside, I aim my right heel to the hip. Left leg, remember, is glued to his back now, parallel to his back. Chest is down, chest, uh, chin is down, nice and tight. Now I'm simply going to fall back, like I'm falling back in the chair. And as I fall back, I fall towards my right hip. One, then two, as I kick the second hook in. As soon as I land here, I'm looking to trap his wrist. One, trap his shoulder, two. Once I grab these two items, now I take my bottom hook, jam my toes to the mat, and I drive them back over to my left. As I drive them back over to the left, I remove the bottom of my right hand out as I throw the second hook back in, right to my rear naked choke, chin down, and we finish the fight. I have a good rule. Whenever your head and your partner's head is on the same line, you both have an equal chance of getting your game started first, right? You want to start with the advantage. So when I make contact here, I'm in a nice low stance, almost like you're wrestling, right? Good wrestling stance. One and two. I step in at an angle here. When I step in at an angle here, I want to get my chest around the outside of this top leg here. If I stay up too high, he's going to hip out and just face me, right? So when I step in, one, two, my chest is around the outside. I'm leaning forward here. I place my underhook hand on the mat, palm down, right hand above the shoulder. Now from here, whether he moves to his left or if I whip him naturally to my right hand side, his left hand side, we get to our position here. But it's all in the hips there. I'm going to whip my hips out to my right hand side as I catch the shallow underhook here. My form across the rib cage here. When I land here, I land with my knee pointing towards my partner. Now I press the head down towards the mat, point the knee away, and I hip into it. As I hip into it, I step. As I step here, I spin to the two knees here. As I, as I spin to the two knees here, I keep my chest nice and low so I can glue it behind this shoulder. So I spin, chest down, right to the seatbelt. When I lock in the seatbelt here, we glue our knee to the back of the head, pull the head onto the lap, and this way I can keep some good shoulder pressure behind his head as well. When it's time to take the, the back here, I have to throw my hook in from on top. So I swing my left leg so it's parallel to his back. One, two. My heel goes right to the hip. It fits in like a puzzle piece. Now when I chair sit, I'm going to fall back towards my right hand side. I fall back and towards the right. As I fall back towards the right, that is a perfect time to start looking for the choke here, right? Mid transition. One, two. I jam my toes to the mat and I drive back over to my left. One and two. As I land, I pull that hand out from underneath his body or from underneath his right arm. Knuckles to the back of the head. Catch your bicep. Chin down. And we squeeze those elbows in tight. So again, that's a really solid pass. If you guys are interested in seeing more of what he has, um, you have that on a, a D, no, I say DVD. We all say DVDs because that's where <laughs> yeah, we grew no, up. I know. Like, but no one has DVDs. But <laughs> I say that. Some people have DVDs. But um, a series that you have on BGG Fanatics. I do. What, yeah. What's that called? So I have a whole series film. It's just called uh, No Gi Top Pressure Passing with JT Torres. Cool. It's, uh, it, it's a, a whole instruction where we go over just my whole passing sequence, how I keep pressure on top, and how it leads me to different submissions and back takes and other dominant positions. Like the one we just saw. Cool. And guys, if you if you you know have a flow grappling account or if you got YouTube put in JD Torres, look him up, look at his matches, watch him do this. I mean, guard passing, takedowns, 
ba uh, back taking, all that stuff. Really, really good stuff. So you'll see stuff like this. You'll see that pass be used for sure. Um, so again, thank you guys uh, for watching, JT. Where some if they're interested in watching you or checking out some of your stuff, what are your social media things so yeah. they can follow you? Yeah, you guys can check me out on Instagram at jtorresbjj. It's the same thing on Facebook. Uh, if you want to take a look at my academy, it's essentialbjj.com uh, or essentialbjj on Instagram. We also have an online uh, academy where I teach techniques, where I teach at the academy. We upload them every week, so that's essentialbjjonline.com. All right, so guys, hope that's helpful to you guys. We'll talk to you next time.